YouTube, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. So I'm gonna be taking my girlfriend for a ride. It's gonna be her first time in the Evora. Uh, 350 horsepower, we're gonna full send it. Um, that'll be on the next video, but before we do that, I gotta fix some more small things on the Evora since I got it. Uh, so we're gonna go over that today. I just wanna put more content on this car. I absolutely love this car. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at the headlights. So look at the, let's look at the headlights. Other good news, this does fit in the garage. The Elise absolutely fits in the garage, but uh, this big Evora, it fits perfectly in the garage. Um, it is a big car, more in length and width, I guess you would say, but overall, it feels big, but overall, it's like not the biggest car. It's still a small car. Um, but if we look over here at the headlights, they came from Florida, <clears throat> very dull. Look at that, really, really dull. So what we need to do is I need to get rid of all that yellowing. And uh, I didn't take you guys on the, this last one, but I actually already did it on one of the headlights. Um, I'm not gonna be doing a full restore kit, but look how beat it up that is and nice that looks. Um, I am gonna be doing, making them look nice. So, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Again, I'm not gonna be scratching the lens with any, um, uh, with any uh, sandpaper, I'm just gonna be doing rubbing compounds to make it look absolutely mint. So let's go ahead and do it on this one real quick so um, that we can get a nice shine so that when she comes and gets in the car, we don't have yellow headlights. All right, the first thing you wanna do is take your microfiber from missionary.com, swing by. First link, it says buy now, swing by missionary.com. Grab a microfiber, get the water off. Um, once you've gotten the water off, which I already have, <clears throat> Throw that on the side. Today we're gonna to be using this. This is old timer. I learned this from a long time ago when I was a kid. Renews glass and plastic, windshields, before and after. Headlights, does the same thing. Um, removes haze and discoloration. It's pretty affordable. The whole bottle is like $10. Um, this is just a rubbing compound. That's all this is. It's not a kit with sandpaper, a kit with like a Cerakote, which I'm gonna be doing Cerakote on a kit on my MR2 soon. I just don't wanna do that on my Lotus when I'm not good at it yet so let's go ahead and do this. this is what I did as a kid I always did it um, what we're gonna do is open this up it's a dirty old bottle um, what we're gonna do is put some dabs of this on here and this is how I, I get the good results so just about that much you don't need a crazy amount um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a, a buffer pad or your applicator and we're just gonna go ahead and put it on and uh, again, this is just gonna sand away. It's a rubbing compound. Um, try not to get it on the paint. If it gets on the paint, it won't ruin the paint um, unless you really drive it into the uh, really drive it into the paint. Like right there, I'm gonna wipe. I'll just wipe that off with water, and it comes off with water. So once we have it like that, <clears throat> grab your orbital and uh, just go into it. And what you're doing is you're just grinding away that surface. All that yucky, ugly stuff. Now I'll go ahead and do this until it all goes away. So it kind of goes away and it sw swirls in. What I do next is you take water and then you go over all that again, take the microfiber. And you can see it kind of goes away. Um, you know, just wipe it away. And you're gonna wanna use a little bit of pressure. So we're gonna wipe the rest of it away. I did two coats of water. Um, very simple. I mean, if you have a, a garden hose or something, you can do that. Okay, once you have that done, you're gonna get some Carnuba right here, Carnuba, and we're gonna put that on. Um, this is my favorite, Meguiar's Gold Class Carnuba Plus. Also use a uh, different corner of your microfiber. I got a little too much wax, I think. Uh, a different corner of your micro microfiber, and then what you wanna do is this. This is just the same thing. This is like, wax is another rubbing compound. It's just a more of a um, very, very fine, grit of level so it gives you nice polish look you're just polishing it you're just doing different levels of stages of polish so not only did we have a check engine light i still have this tire pressure thing um i don't think the tires are leaking i just never put it up enough so um i got my craftsman air compressor i highly recommend one of these um they're small little guys it goes 150 psi you might want a bigger one if you're doing bigger jobs but 150 psi is pretty good six gallon um, absolutely love this thing. I think it was $150. Really, really good. It, may, it might have even been less um, with a giant Craftsman cord. The tire pressure for the Evora needs to be between 36 and 34 PSI. And I think one of them is like at 18 and one of them is at like 20. So let's go ahead and do all four of them at 36 PSI. All right, I'm actually putting another layer of wax on that one. They're both dry and they should be dry here in a second. Um, let's go over to the car and I put um, I think about 40 PSI, maybe a little bit less, 38. So let's go ahead and put the um, key in the car 
and then see if the tire pressures read. So it's it's they're they're going up. I'm sure if I start the car, it'll go. So one was at 19, one was at 15, pretty low. Um, but on my little indicator on my um, air compressor, it showed like 30 all around. So we'll go ahead and let it sit like this, and then once we go for a drive, it, all the PSI should go up to the normal level. So what we did now is it's all dried um, with the Meguiar's wax on there. We got a, a different applic applicator pad with no or orbital with no. Um, Res residue of the rubbing compound. So we're gonna go over this now and just buff this off. This is where you'll get your results. And um, we're not done though, I gotta do one more f final step, but you guys will like the difference of this. this. And it doesn't take this much effort at all, really. All right, the headlight looks absolutely gorgeous. The last thing I do is take this uh, bunny tail, it looks like a bunny's tail, um, and it's just really soft. And what I do is the same thing. So this is like a final aim polishing step. And uh, it'll give it that one lash. It's almost like you just wash the car and then you're drying it off. Um, which that's what we're going to do next is wash the car. But yeah, absolutely. Headlight looks a thousand percent better. Not too much pressure. Kind of let the um, orbital or your drill do the majority of the work. And um, then you're done. Yeah, they look absolutely beautiful. Look, there's actually little cool factory LEDs in there. Those are pretty cool. Um, when they turn on their Xenons, uh, they actually look blue, but then I had them on for a little bit, and now they look kind of um, white. But they do look blue right when they first turn on. They look amazing. So good. So uh, now we have great headlights, so much better than what they were. Let's pull the car out of the garage and then do a quick wash. And um, I think that's about it. I think the car will be ready uh, to go take her for her first drive. But I got a lot of other little things I want to fix on the car. I just thought I'd show you guys, you know, each step that we do to make this thing absolutely immaculate. I can't wait to swing by Greg's Racing Parts and grab some cool parts off of GRP. Oh my gosh, looks so good. Woo, let's go ahead and get it washed. That might be the perfect setup, but hey, um, let's go ahead and get all the dust off this with some nice water. So let's water the whole car down. The, car, the paint's actually in great condition overall. As you guys can see, kind of beats up right there. Of course, I need to wax it, which I will eventually. But uh, let's go ahead and get this whole thing wet so that we can do a nice hand wash on the car before my girlfriend sees it. Okay, so I just finished. Car looks awesome. She's ready. She came out and said, hey, I'm ready to go. So she's going to come out and look over the car. Um, we're going to take it to a parking lot. She's going to walk around it, tell me what she thinks of it, and then we'll go rip it for her first ride. Um, I'm really, really excited. So uh, that's it for this video. There she is in there. Come back for next video where you see her reaction. Let's go ahead and get it. See you guys. Swing by Swingbymissionary.com. Swing by, uh, that's about it. <laughs> see you guys on the next video.